Hey, welcome back, everybody. We have another TTM video to get to, including one that's been forwarded from our old address. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're getting autographs TTM through the mail simply by sending our favorite athletes and celebrities cards and photographs TTM through the mail. When we get results, we come to YouTube, we share the information. First one is kind of flimsy. It's coming from West Palm Beach, Florida, Florida. Single card in there, and it's Rick Cerrone. And we did not send that to West Palm Beach. We sent it to New Jersey, I believe. But that's cool. Rick Cerrone, he signs one per. That is the 83 tops. Spending some time with the Yanks there. Look at 1980. His first season with the Yankees. Taking over for a guy named Thurman Munson. He tragically died in a plane crash. In the 79, uh, late in the 79 season, I guess that was. And Rick Cerrone is the... Never want to be the guy who follows the guy. And Thurman Munson was certainly the guy in New York. And uh, didn't do too bad. Finished 7th the MVP. And uh, did the best he could to take over for old Thurman. But yeah, played 18 seasons total, 75 to 92. He's 69 years old now. And then he founded a, uh, an independent league team up in Newark, the Newark Bears, and sold it a few years later in 2003. And he'll sign one per, and that's been out in a while. Let's see how long that's been out. Okay, 40. 40 days, no fee. He's a strict one per. 40 days. And Rick Cerrone. So he's living in uh, West Palm Beach. Can't blame me for that. Kansas City Mo up next. Kansas City, here I come. Jan Stenerud. There's a Hall of Famer right there on his rookie. 1970. And then the 90 pro, 91 Pro Set. Hall of Fame kicker. Nice. First time we've gotten him back. Sent to him a couple years ago. And his fee's always been a question mark. I don't know if that's waxy or that just had a, a skippy sharpie. But yeah, uh, we sent him 10 bucks in a card. Didn't get it back. Didn't get to keep the fee or the cards back a couple years ago. And then Troy the Dealmaker Kernan got him not too long ago. And I thought, well, okay, let's give it another shot. So I sent... There's uh, the ink transfer right there. I sent uh, $5 each, two fives and two cards, and got them back. Quick return to three weeks' time. 21, 22, 23 days for the 81-year-old uh, Hall of Fame kicker. He was really the first kicker to go in as a full-time kicker. George Blando has already been in, but he's a, he was a quarterback first and a kicker second. Got in for both doing well there both sides but Jan Stenerud was one of the first full-time kickers to get in four times in the Pro Bowl he's on the 75th anniversary all-time team and the 100th anniversary all-time team Super Bowl ring and Super Bowl four for those Chiefs scored about 1700 lifetime points and like I said 23 days I sent five dollars each he used to charge 10 then he, I guess he's been returning for free as well. I saw some folks post in the Facebook groups for free. Brockton, Massachusetts. Brockton, Mass. Up next, Jim Lonborg on his rookie. That that's a hard card to get a hold of. Sixty-five rookie stars, five seventy-three, a high number. Expensive card. That card had a little mark on it. We knew that going in. That's probably why I got it cheap. And look at that, game five, Lonborg wins again. He won game two. Pitched a one-hitter. See if it mentioned it there. One hitter and a shutout, and then he gave up one run here in game five. And unfortunately, they tried to pitch him in game seven against Bob Gibson, and he just had nothing left in the tank after that superb, I mean a memorable 67 career year. He led the league in wins, led the league in strikeouts, won the Cy Young Award, and had an incredible year there in 67. Just didn't have enough in the tank in Game 7. The Red Sox ended up losing to the Cardinals. We finished 157, 137 overall, about 1,500 Ks. 90 complete games in his career. Made the Red Sox Hall of Fame in 2002. And right after that 67 season, just a dream season, he was involved in a bad skiing accident, hurt his knee, and was never quite the same. That's a shame. So, quick return there. That's... Uh, 11, 12 days, no fee for the dentist. Jim Lomborg became a dentist after his playing days. Charleston, South Carolina, and this is the one that's been forwarded, so it's been out a long time. Charleston, South Carolina. 
Joe DeLama Lore, man, I thought that was gone forever for sure. <laughs> That's his rookie. I love that play set back there. Football play set anyway. Joe DeLama Lore in the 74 Tops Hall of Fame 03. Man, talk about one you sent and didn't get back. That's been out a while. Joe DeLama Lore, great, great offensive lineman. Blocked for O.J. Simpson. They set records for the rushing yards in the season. Just turned 73 years old. He has CTE, so I thought, well, if I don't get that back, that's fine. But great player, six times in the Pro Bowl, eight times All-Pro. And he's on that 1970s All-Decade team. Remember, we look at those All-Decade teams and it's just chock full of Hall of Famers. And if someone is not in the Hall of Fame yet, that might be a good idea that they're on the cusp of getting in. He's in the Browns Ring of Honor. He's on the Bills Wall of Fame. Hall of Fame in 03, as he says. And that's been out how long? We have to go off record and get the abacus for this one. 305 days. 305. Almost a year. Two months short of a year. 305. And there's a $10 fee. I've seen some folks get him back for five, but I, I send 10. He's been 10 for a long time. Next up, Lost Wages, Nevada. Lost Wages. Got my note back. Let's see here. Uh, okay, did not sign the note. Tom Mack, Hall of Famer. Send those off to Larry Little. Put Hall of Fame 99 on one, not on the other. Tom Mack, 74 tops, 78 tops. Hall of Fame on both of those. Send those off to Larry Little soon. He signs one for free and five dollars thereafter. We'll put both these together. Put that back there. Tom Mack. I always send him the fees. He's one of those rare Hall of Famers who will sign for free. I always send him a couple bucks. I love him. One of my favorite players who didn't play for the Cowboys of that era. Superb player. Talk about a guy in the all 70s team. Tom Mack. Multiple Pro Bowls. How about 11? 11 in his 13 seasons. 66 to 78. Uh, Hall of Fame in 99, as he says, and one of the best of all time. Got Hall of Famers who will attest to that, including Bob Lilly, who said Tom Max one of the best he ever played against. It's been out about a month. 30, 30, 31 days. 31 days. He does not have a fee. I sent four cards and $10. Don't like sending him four, but so that's us put a little donation in there. He did not sign the note. Doesn't usually return the notes. Just want to make sure there was nothing on there. Talk to him about meat chicken, his alma mater. San Diego, California up next. San Diego. Oops, there's still a couple in there. Mark Williamson. First time we've gotten him back on the channel, I believe. 91 tops, 88 Donruss, and 89 tops. Got a unique autograph there. Three of three. San Diego, 64-year-old right-handed pitcher, eight seasons, 87 to 94, all for the Baltimore Orioles. And he was one of those four pitchers who combined on the no-hitter in 91. There was a card out listing, the upper deck card with all four of those guys. I think they will all sign. I'm not sure. I've never worked on that card before. But yeah, I came a real estate guy after his playing days. That's exactly three weeks. First time we've sent to him, like I said. And 21 days, no fee. Mark Williamson. Last one coming from North Texas. Dallas, Texas. Seven bookings. Eight, seven. Kyle Clifton, the tackling machine. We love getting him back. Talk about flying under the radar. Underrated guy. Just led the league in tackles, it seemed like, every year. 13 seasons, 84 to 96, all with the Jets. Usually, if you're playing in New York, you get that New York publicity. But yeah, he led the league in tackles all straight out three seasons and then was in the top 10 for four other years. Just a great player. 1,500 in his career. He retired. He was the second all time in NFL history. So I don't understand why he didn't get the pub he deserved. Didn't get any trouble. Never played in a Pro Bowl. You can imagine that. Kind of a crime. That's under 10 days quickly. 
seven, eight, nine days. Nine days, no fee, Kyle Clifton. So that is it. We'll get him some glare there. What'd you think? How many Hall of Famers? One, two, three. Three Hall of Famers, including the first time return from Jan Stenerud for the channel. The first time return from Mark Williamson. What'd you think? Let me know down below. Big rookie card here on the 65 high number. Let me know what you think. As always, I love to read your comments. Hope you're off to a great week. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click there and then ring that bell. And you'll be notified of any future video that I post. And if you missed last Thursday's video, I'll leave a link to that right there. Thanks for being with me today. Have a great week and we will see you soon.